Hello and welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the extinction map and today we're in the forest area. Uh, an underground cave if you will. Uh, so there's a wonderful forest in it. And I've um, decided to set up base here. Uh, so in like the last episode I was building out this crafting area and today the plan is to, to start working on a cooking area if you will so we can start making some kibble using an industrial cooker. But um, before I get started, if at any time you find yourself liking the video, um, then do please click the like button, as that will help me out a great deal. And if you have any comments or suggestions, then do please con uh, do please post them. Uh, they'll be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe. Um, and remember to click the, the bell icon as well to get uh, notifications for when new daily content comes out. But yeah, I mean, the, the plan today is really to carry on building this base. The I've kind of like marked out a bit of an area down here where I want to start building um, a couple of buildings. One's going to be like a greenhouse, and the other one's going to be where I'll be doing the actual uh, cooking. Um, what are you doing here? It's an annoying compy here. I don't like compies. Go away. So, anyway, um, in the last episode, that's about as far as I got, was getting these three crafting stations in, so the, the Fabricator, the Smithy, and the S Plus crafting station. I then got this um, Industrial Forge put in. I mean, that took a lot of grinding, getting a lot of metal. I got some metal from the Gatchers, um, just keep feeding them, and they were dropping metal crystals every so often, and um, they were also giving me the aug augmented uh, crystal now and again. And um, I had to go and raid, raid a load of beaver dams to get cementing paste. Um, oh, yep. Hold on, hold on. I need that. I need that. Don't, don't leave, leave it alone. I need that. Thank you. So yes, there was a load of uh, raiding of beaver dams as well. Uh, but eventually got it all done. Um, but what with all the grinding and the time it took, uh, I've done all uh, the rest of it um, offline. So. I've added in a, uh, an S plus chemistry station. That didn't take too many resources. I've got an electrical generator going here. I've got some storage and I've got a grinder. I mean, that took a massive amount of uh, resources, even more than this. I think it was about 3,200 metal ingots alone. So uh, I had Arthur here doing circuits, constant circuits around the lake um, to go and collect uh, metal for me. I've, uh, I've moved the bed up here for kind of temporary because I want to put a right down there I've cleared everything out down there bar the, the actual um, feeding trough and a little campfire I've got there because I want to build myself a little little house down there because um, the idea is I want to be able to get around the map just pretty much just fast traveling I want to leave myself uh, you know maybe like a flyer at each base um, weaponry armor and that sort of stuff and then when I need to go to a certain area I'll just fast travel using a bed so yeah for now I mean that's just gonna stay there and I've also got the NS plus refrigerator here so I've, I've been storing some organic polymer I've got a few eggs that I've picked up uh, organic polymer has been really easy to get a hold of it was a lot, uh, lot better than I thought um, I've got one gacha down there that produces my organic polymer and I was going to actually have uh, pairs of them. I was going to get another one for organic polymer, but that one alone has been generating quite a lot. I just keep shoveling um, stone into his inventory and he's been producing quite a lot of polymer. So that made uh, made my life easier. I was going out and getting, I think it was obsidian as well. Um, yeah, I've been getting obsidian because I've got two... I've got two gatches down there that produce obsidian, so that was another way of getting it. But um, before I get started with this uh, sort of like little uh, cooking area, if you will, um, I just want to bring you over to the grinder that I've uh, got here, because I know th these grinders are very expensive in terms of the resources that they need. But one of the, one, I mean, one of the problems was if you put like a, a structure into them, for instance. I don't know if that problem's been fixed because I've, I've rarely ever used it for that. What I tend to do is when I get um, things like these. Um, uh, weaponry or armor and that sort of thing those sort of things that I don't need um, I can't break them down by hand but these sort of things 
I mean, they, they take a lot of resources to make, so if you grind these, you get like a lot of resources back. I know early on, if you put a structure into one of these and, you know, you ground that down, the problem was that you'd actually get less resources back uh, than if you just actually demolished it by hand. But um, they're pretty good for things like uh, breaking down, you know, armor and uh, weaponry and things that you've picked up um, out in the field that you're not going to use. I mean, I've pretty much the best of the stuff I've found I've just kept in here. So this is like I've got two different types of armor. I've got like the riot gear and then the flak where I can. I'm still trying to get some decent gloves. Um, there was one journeyman crystal that uh, one of the metal gatchers dropped, which gave me this ascendant pick. Most of the rest I've now got like journeyman, so it's just a case of progress, you know, persevering with that really, and then eventually I should get uh, ascendant uh, tools. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite keen to to, um, to see what I get off this because um, I mean, there's quite a few things here. There's quite a few like ascendant things, for instance. So I'm assuming there's got to be quite a good good return on this. So I thought I'd leave it till now, and we'll see what we get. So here goes. Ooh, right. I'm turning that off. Um, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, we've got more. We've actually got more things in here than the actual thing can hold. Um, so we've got polymer, angler gel, crystal, electronics. We've got all sorts of stuff. I mean, cementing paste is going to be great. Metal ingots, wood. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some of this stuff because I know that that organic polymer is going to spoil pretty quick. So uh, organic polymer. <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even sure I'm going to need a gacha at this rate. <laughs> okay, so I've, I've totally filled the, uh, the refrigerator. Struth, how much is left? There's still over 2,000, <laughs> there's still over 2,000 of it left in there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've actually, I mean, there's only 200 slots in here, in other words, there's still on 341. Um, I'm going to have to get, I'm going to have to get that out, because the trouble is, I don't know if, um, I don't know if, I'll, if it'll, it'll get lost if I reboot the computer or something. Right, cementing paste. Oh, wow, I've got over 1100 cementing paste. That's going to save me a ton of time. Um, what about chitin? Six hundred and twenty eight. <laughs> oh, strew. Seventeen hundred metal ingots. Oh, dear Lord. This is just crazy. Um, let's see. I think there was some. Let's see. There was some wood in there as well. Let's see if there's any. See how much wood we got back. So about 453 wood. Is there any thatch? Yeah. I'm not too fussed about thatch, like, but uh, I think there were silica pearls in there, wasn't there? There's over a thousand silica pearls. <laughs> I mean, just. I mean, these gatches are just brilliant. So, like, we've got crystal and hide. So, even if you don't, like, even if you don't want like keep the things that they drop, I mean, just put it all into the uh, you know whatever, whatever things that they drop, any tools or armor that they drop for you, just pull it into here, put it into your grinder, and you'll uh, you'll get like a ton of resources back. What do they do for hide? With thirteen hundred hide, this is just crazy, and I'm I still haven't even emptied it. Stone and crystal, right? Let's see. I'll, I'll, think I'll put some of that in here. So, um, because it's, it's empty, right? Uh, stone. How much stone did we get back? Yeah, not that much on the stone. I mean, I wouldn't expect much would be needed to be honest with that. Uh, what about crystal? It's 463 crystal. Electronics. That's interesting that I got electronics back because I mean, most of it's just, it was just armor and um, 
So that's unusual. Flint and fibre. Right, so there's... Put that in there so at least I can pull things now. Um, flint... Get that there. There wasn't that much flint. Fibre... 787 fibre. I mean, I've got angler gel that would have. I, mean, I haven't seen any angler fish on this map. But <laughs> oh, this is true. This is pretty much all just polymer, I think. Now I've still got more than the slots. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to basically. I'm gonna have to create a. I'll have to create another couple of fridges and and put it in there. I mean, it lasts. How long does it last? Last about two days. So I'm certainly not going to be short of polymer. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, I think that's just made my day, that has. Right, anyway. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yes. Um, right, so what I want to do is... I mean, I've, I've been ga I've gathering resources and... Um, I've got all the pretty much what I need already. Um, I was actually running out of cementing paste, but that's just that's just saved me a ton because uh, I wanted to build uh, an industrial cooker, but I was struggling to get the resources. I think I think all the beavers went on strike. I'd, I mean they're out they're out and about, but there's just no dams, so that wasn't getting me very far. Uh, but now I've just got a ton of I've got a ton of like cementing paste by uh, grinding everything. Right, so I put this kind of this down as a kind of a just a guide just so I can get some idea of where I can put everything because the idea is I want to um, hang on a minute, where's my uh, where am I still I had a load of stone oh this is not good I had a load of st oh, hang on is that in there yeah there no yeah, that's why they're not they're in that they're in the, in the zero slot I'm getting I'm getting too carried away with with all that uh, black or gallic Polymer off <laughs> Oh, right. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna put these. I'm gonna put these foundations down. So I think this one's going to be for the greenhouse. I mean, it's not. It's not really practical having a sort of like a round greenhouse, but I want to kind of carry on the theme from there, uh, at least for this part anyway. Um, I don't really need many crop plots. Uh, the idea is I want, I only need about four for the different types of vegetables. Um, once these things get going they end up producing tons of uh, vegetables and I can leave them in a refrigerator. And then I've also got that other greenhouse uh, which is in the city. So it's not as if I'm going to like run short of uh, vegetables just by having the four slots. Um, in terms of what I'm doing is I'm going to have two of these circular buildings, one here, uh, one over there. I'm going to have a little gangway running down here. I think I might um, at some point extend it out of the back in case I decide to start doing say like beer barrels or something because they need water. Not 100% sure if I want to have a walkway in front. So for now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the, the door at the side. Um, I need that facing this way. Not that way, this way. Face this way. Don't, don't face that way, face this way. Oh, good grief. Face that way. Right, tell you what, let's get rid of that uh, foundation because there's too many snap points. Yeah, right, that's better. So, i put my door in now. Hey, I've got a door. Right. Now put all the all the walls in. So to say, I mean, I, I was just out craft, uh, crafting all these off uh, off camera. Took ages to gather all the resources because I needed like lots of crystal cementing paste. As I say, I've been having a real struggle getting cementing paste today. Um, I might have to go back and clear out those uh, those beavers or something because there's uh, there's still quite a few of them there, but they're just not. Um, I'm not seeing that many beaver dams popping up for some strange reason. Ah, oh, 
that one doesn't want to snap so I'm going to put that one there just put them every alternate uh, wall nope still doesn't want to play ball ok so then we'll put the triangular ones in right let's see if that will snap now there we go uh, then we want one there there, there. Oh, come on. There's only one snap point I want you to go to. Uh, what, what? I'm leaving that one to last because it's, it's being it's annoying me. I don't feel like being annoyed. I've had too much fun with the organic uh, polymer. There's too many snap points here. <laughs> oh, God. Right, so I just need that last one to go in there. Come on. Come on, play ball. You're not going to play a ball now that I've put those ones in, are you? Okay, right. That was a bad idea. Right. Let's try again. Um, That's what. Take that one out. Come on. Oh, hang on a minute, is, is that one already in? That can't be right, surely. Yeah, that one's already in, what am I doing? Yeah, that one's already in. Right, so there's one that needs to go here. Yeah, that's better. Oh, and that one will go... There. That'll do. Great. So, basically what I'll do is I'll, uh, with, with the S Plus it's quite good because I can get the pipes, at least the irrigation under underground, and then what I'll have is one crop plot here, one here, one here, one here, so that gives me four crop plots. I'll put the large ones in. I could put medium ones in, but I mean large ones will do. Four's, uh, four's enough for me. Right, so, just pop over here. Right, so I want, um, want these off you. Alright, just make sure I don't hit the wrong thing. That would be extremely awkward if I went and trashed the place. Right, so I want a wooden one here, here, and here. Have you got the stairs on you? Yes, you've got the stairs. So put that here. Turn you into a set of stairs. Right, so that like that that's how I'm gonna get into here, through that. So then pretty much just a a repeat with the next lot. I was really hoping to do uh, stone and thatch, but I, for some reason I can't find a, a thatch triangle. Which is a shame. I mean the slope ones. Actually I could have done it with that, couldn't I? Or is it? Uh, I wonder. Oh no, these are slope walls. Yeah. See, I've got all I've got is these like um, these slope ones. I don't have a triangular one, which is a shame. I can get the um, I can get wood ones, for instance, adobe ones and stone. And for some strange reason, I couldn't get tri uh, triangular thatch ones. So that's a pain. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just repeat what I did before except on this side so uh, put them down there so that gives you my kind of a circular center with these squares uh, off the sides of them and just fill those in Oh, 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 No! How did I miss that one? <gasps> Out of curiosity, did it disappear under there? Yeah, I was being optimistic. I must have just spoiled. Right, so that gets me... 
I mean, this this building is where I'll be like doing all the cooking. So everything's going to be growing in there. Now, interesting enough, it's it's actually quite dark in here. So <laughs> this might actually be a complete waste of time if it turns out the greenhouse effect doesn't work like that. Yeah, it's like, mm, yeah, I should have thought of that. Right. Uh, I'm going to like a rough rough guide on the on here. I'm not sure how many. Wo I might end up having to put more windows in. Um, I'm not quite sure at this stage. I think I think just a few will do for that. Oh, hang on, let's that go the right way around. Let's pick that back up. Put them there. And there. Yeah, that's the right way around. Good. Right, so I'll have a wall. Oh, that's a window. That one there. And that one there. I have a window. If I select the window out there, tell you what, I'll s I think that's not going to work. Yes, yeah, so I'll pick that one back up. So I'm going to have to put that one there. That one up there. there that one there, that one there. Right, so I've got roughly a one window per two walls. I might I might put more in later on, we'll see. Right, um did I get all the roofs? Yeah, I've got all the roofs. So yeah, it's a bit of a shame I'd, I really wanted to put the um the thatch ones in. I put a thatch roof in, but it's a bit of a pity that. Right, so this one goes there. Put that one right there. Yeah, you don't want to play a ball yet, do you? Okay. Come on. That's better. It's your uh, normal slope one, so you'll be giving me grief, right? Okay. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So then all we've got is the triangular ones. There we go. All done. So there's, I mean, there's a fair fair amount of room here. I mean, all I, all I really need though is a uh, uh, the industrial cooker um, and the industrial grill more than anything. So I think I'll put these pretty much either side. So I'll walk in here and I'll have like an industrial grill on one side and probably a cooker on the other. And I'll have to put some I'll have to put some lighting in here. Um, now the 64. I've, I think I've got a. I've got a few things already. Now I've got the um, now I've got some more cementic paste. I think I should be able to build that industrial cooker because I had the grill somewhere. I'd already built the grill. Just have a look and see what I what I have got. Yes, yeah, so I've got one of them. Here's my grill. See if I can build the uh, industrial cooker. Hey, hey, hey! Excellent. Oh, it's brilliant! That that makes my day. I want a. Uh, I want a preserving bin as well. Because I've got to make some of those kibble. Yeah, some of those kibbles then need uh, the jerky. I think I'll get two of them. So that's um, internal piping for the for the water. So I'm, I'm going to take some of these um, with me to see because I need to get a rough rough idea as to how I'm going to get the water in there. Uh, got one. I've only got one. I think I've only got one crop plot on me. Yeah, there's no more crop plots, so I need to make. Yeah, 
I need to make some more crop plots, so I've got about three of those. I think it's complaining because of the weight, I think. I think I'm carrying too much, maybe. Sometimes it does that. Hmm. I mean, the weight seems alright. I mean, I'm asking for three, but I'm only getting enough for one for some strange reason. Hmm, no mind. But I'll have to put all the all the, um, the irrigation first because the idea is to put the put these uh, internal pipes down and then run the the water at the back. I'm, I'm going to need quite a bit of a um, bit more water. So the idea is, I mean, the good thing about these is these just they just snap straight to the top, so that's great. But what I'll have to do is I'll have to put one of these down first. Ah. Ah, it's a wall one. Duh. That's <laughs> a wall one. <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna do me any good. Back to the drone board, I need a I need a one for the floor. That does me no use whatsoever. I need one that goes in the foundation. I mean, the, the thing is, I've still got to put the um, the water taps in because it doesn't. I'm not, I would I would have assumed that if you got like irrigation underneath, it would have it would have done it that way. But no, nope. never mind. So metal pipes. So that's the one that goes into the wall. Uh, Pipe. So there's that one there. No, that's odd. Yeah, it says it goes into. Uh, into walls, but um, there's supposed to be one for the for the floors. So I think I'm I'm missing something here. What was that one called again? It was the yeah, it's definitely piping. So these are all the normal ones you've got. Oh, there it is there. Yeah, it's the square one, so that's the one I wanted. So I should be able to get myself one of them. Don't need that one. In fact, actually, I think I'll... Let's put that one in the grinder. Why not? Oh, no, I can't because there's, enough... <laughs> there's not enough free slots. <laughs> uh... Right, so I'll put that in and I'm going to have to find out how much piping I'm going to need to to run it all the way back to um, tap that water supply back there. So if I put that there, now that's there I believe, so... Okay. Where did I put it? Yeah, so it's there. So I'm probably going to need at least, at least quite a few and some um, diagonal ones by the looks of it. So I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to pause the video here because uh, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to have to irrigate this whole place. But the idea is to basically run these uh, metal pipes all the way out down to here. Uh, I've got a I've got a one here to tap the um, the water supply uh, down there. I'll have to do the same for for this one over here. And I'll bring the water in here, and then what I can do is that should give me the irrigation. Except as I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure off the top of my head, I still need to put these these in place. Just pick it up though, because. Um, even though that, that little underground floor part gets irrigated, I don't think that actually irrigates the crop plots, at least not in, it hasn't in the past anyway. But I'm going to pause the video and then I'll get all this piping uh, finished off. 
Right then, so I've extended the piping out all the way out to here and then that just uh, dips into the water and I've done the same for this uh, this building here. So both of them have, have now got a an internal an internal little uh, pad there so that's receiving water but um, there's actually five square slots here rather, as opposed to I thought it was just four, there's five so um, now that one there so what I've done is I've got one here I've got one of the square ones there so that's uh, one of these now there's four I've only made about four of these so I can put another one here now what I've done is there's a little uh, sort of like uh, a triangular structured one you can get as well so I can fit them in to here and here so that's extending the water out to these square ones so that one there you can see it's got like a white uh, water droplet against it so if I put one of these in here that goes blue, now that goes blue so that one's white that one's blue yep and that one's blue so now I've got um, I've got four areas now where I can put uh, these crop uh, plots down so I'll put them in let's put one there one there I need five of them because I only built uh, I only built four because for some reason I thought there was four but yeah I guess my I guess my maths isn't that good so ah oh, that's good so we've got a 300% greenhouse effect there so that's good 300% 300% 300% so hopefully when I, I'll, I'll go and make another one of those but that should now I mean, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with that I thought like it would be dark and it was a case of no there's not enough sunlight you're not getting anything now the only problem is even though there's water supposedly underneath you know this it, you know it's irrigated it doesn't actually do anything um, for the plot itself I can't I can't turn it around I would, I would love to have that for that to have gone in the opposite direction oh yes I can yeah that's ah, so I can I can turn it that way around that's better so now it's there you go so that's that's now irrigated so that's that's irrigated that's irrigated that's now irrigated so that's quite handy so um, that's quite handy that now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another one because I want to make sure that uh, that everything's getting irrigated and then um, it's just a case of uh, putting the seeds and fertilizer I mean I think I might just use the owl pellets to be honest rather than bothering things like compost heaps and dung beetles it's, um, actually I could have made it from here anyway couldn't I um, so I need a large crop plot that's an S plus one so we'll make that hey right, come on us yell I'm having to eat a lot of food because uh, there was a therizino there's twice as a therizino spawned up there um, the trouble is if you're on the back of say like an ankle the ankle managed to handle itself it got, I mean it was only like a level 72 therizinosaurus totally shredded the armor I'm on like desert armor totally shredded my armor was, I had hardly any health left at all um, so I'm, I'm really keen I think to go and get some some dire wolves next so yeah, so that's all irrigated as well. Aha, yeah, so everything's irrigated, everything's got 300% greenhouse effect, so it's just a matter of putting the, the actual seeds in and the, um, the fertilizer, and then off they'll go. So for this place, I've got, I've got the water coming as far as here now. I think I've got a... I mean, this, 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 this uh, industrial grill is huge. I mean, I don't want it sticking through the roof. So I think if I put that over there, I mean, that's not too bad. Um, there was that the water was coming through there, so the question is how 
how big is this thing? Now, what side's that on? I want, ideally, I want the the val uh, the gauges on this side, but they can be a pain to, to get them to line up. Stop being a pain. Ah, oh, can't see anyway, so. Right, so that's uh Yeah, that's alright. So it's um so that's irrigated you see, so although I've got that I've got like an internal uh pipe, if you will, that fits into the slot. That's one of the great things about S plus. I don't have to bother with like internal piping with uh, water coming down from above and so on. So that makes uh, makes things a lot easier. The only thing is I, I don't have the, the electricity. So I've, as far as I'm aware, I should have... I've got an electrical generator here. So I'll see if I can uh, maneuver around and fit that there. So right, so that's there, that's there. I'll put the... Right, I've got two... Hmm. Seems kind of nuts to put two fridges next to a massive grill, but <laughs> I think for the sake of space, I'm, I don't have much choice really. Um, hmm. Put that at a bit of an angle. Ah, oh, it's sticking out. Put that. See that will. Nah, uh, because I need to be able to fit. Um, I need to be able to fit both of them. If I could just. So hopefully that's not sticking through anything. Yeah, for the sake of cleanliness, I want one for meat and one for um, for the eggs and the kibble and so on, vegetables. I mean, it's. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't. Have, it has absolutely zero effect, actually, on the on the heat in the refrigerators. But yeah, you would never want to put a, like a uh, those next next to each other. So I want a preserving bin. I'm going to have to scatter these about. So I'll put a. Oh, I might be able to fit two of them there as well. Let's see, can I squeeze them in? Ah, it's a pity they don't. Um, Pity they don't snap. Right, so I can use that for my for getting my uh, meat jerky. Now I'm going to need some wires for this. There's different ways. Ooh. Oh, we want that. Give me that. There's different ways of doing it. This is this has got a foundation on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this one up. Get myself some internal wires. Technically, it doesn't really matter. You can you can do it with a. I mean, that's, over here, for instance, I can't put um, internal wires into the actual into the platform. I think I've got some in here. I'm pretty sure I made some because I was going to use these here. So I've, see, it, it doesn't fit into the platform, unfortunately. So what I did with this one is I, uh, I'll just um, I put a vertical one in, and then I just, and then I could snap the actual uh, little outlet to it. But I, I quite like this uh, doing it this way. So if we go to electrical, I need an outlet. And I'll need some. I think I've got, I've got quite a lot of gasoline cooking up um, over there, actually. Go and get some of that. Yeah, I've got tons of this stuff. Brilliant. So as long as I keep the these generators topped up, I mean it lasts lasts for ages. But these, I, I love these. I mean, ever since like the Griffins came out on Ragnarok. Like the flight mechanics on these is just great. The only the only downside is if this if if they touch something, I think if their feet touch something, they automatically try to land. And that can be like really annoying. 
especially if you're writing mid air, because there's times where I've practically landed on top of an argy, for instance, and I've all of a sudden the, um, the owl wants to land, <laughs> and that's like, you know, no, we're up in the middle of the air, don't try landing up here yet, because it, it'll take like fall damage if it does. So that's never good. Right, so snap that into there. There you go. Everything's just powered on now. It's effortlessly, it's just, it's just totally effortless. It's brilliant. So you should now be getting power. Brilliant. So there you go. So now we can start. Uh, we can start cooking things. So it'll be just a case of getting some fertilizer. I'll probably just use the owl pellets to be honest. Collect quite a few of them because um, it lasts. It'll last for ages. Put some seeds in and that'll make life life uh, pretty much a doddle. So let's see. So let's see. Have you any chance you've picked any up? Oh, oh yeah, you've picked up quite a lot. Um, how many of them? There's five of them. So that'll do, mate. Let's see if. Uh, Barry the beavery has got any uh, any seeds on him. So we've got long grass, sabar root, rock carrot, uh, citronol. So, yeah, we've got all the four all the four main types that I need. Actually, while I'm here, I'll. Uh, You should have probably leveled up the same. So that's great. I mean, these are up to like getting close to 160 for crafting. It goes up at a, about a rate of about each pump's about 1.3. So that's uh, that's pretty good. That as long as I keep just you know just putting uh, stone into them, they're uh, they're happy. Right. So that's my. Rock carrot. Uh, I'll put my sabo root into here. Put the citronol into here. Uh, that leaves the long grass wherever that's gone. Um, and I think I'll just put some extra carrots in here, just for completeness. And there, off it goes. It's uh, it's got tons of fertilizer. So now it's just a case of twiddling my thumbs until it uh, this all starts producing uh, vegetables. But I've got all the I've got like tons of vegetables over at the other place anyway. So what I can start doing is bringing things like the uh, the eggs back here, and I can start uh, testing to see what is it that I need to make this augmented kibble. Because I think there's about three or four different. Augmented, I think there was like so a basic one, uh, an exceptional one, and a superior one at least. Like I can't remember. I think I just saw one that was just augmented. I, I wasn't paying that much attention to be honest. Um, but yes, yeah, so that's that's great. That um, I think we're all pretty much kitted out, ready to to go then. So because of the problems I've been having with these really annoying blooming there, things like I've had, I've had raptors suddenly spawn over here. I mean, Bar uh, Derek here has been all right. I've, I've, I've shortened the distance of this uh, dino leash. Although, even still, he seems to like every so often he'll just stop at the edge and like, I've lost, I've lost the plot. <laughs> I've no idea what he's up to. I mean, he's, um, he's still got a fair way to go in terms of weight. But he's just like, yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll have a think about it. But he's carrying. He is, at least he's getting quite a lot of stone for me. So what? I, I mean, my routine at the moment is, um, I'll just pop up to here. I just sit up here. Um, because I've got the two metal ones down there. They're the main two that I'm using now to, to try and get augmented crystals. So I'll, I'll get about like five. I can carry about five. Um, stacks of stone at any one time, so I'll go over to Derek, um, pick up about five stacks of stone, put uh, put them in one of the one of the uh, ones that produce metal, and go back and get another five. 
and then it's just a case of I can just keep an eye on it from up here and see what they produce. Um, I think this is a bit of a better advantage. If I'm actually going to be producing anything, I can keep an eye on those two because those two down there are the obsidian ones. Uh, those two are doing black pearls. So normally it was obsidian, uh, the odd crystal one down there, the polymer one down there, and then the metal one. So what I could do is I could give all of them um, a stack of five stone. And then it's just a case of once something, you know, once a few of them have popped up, I can just simply whiz down on the owl, uh, bring them back up here. But uh, yeah, those those therizinos are and raptors are dillos and that are spawning the. They're definitely spawning inside of the area. There's, there's also something strange going on in that there's not that much metal spawning. I mean, there was one, only one of the two nodes here spawned. Uh, I haven't seen anything over here spawn. I mean, I haven't added any more, like, structures out here. Yet, for some reason, only one of the nodes here spawned. Uh, over here, the crystal's been respawning. Or at least it was at one point, but only one of the metal nodes spawned. And there's two, normally two there, and there's normally three at that other place. There's usually about, I think there's about three metal nodes here, yet only one of them has spawned. Hardly any of the beaver dams are spawning at all. Normally it's just a case of going in, doing a quick hit and run, taking out the cementing paste, dropping everything else to destroy the dam, and then... Um, they usually rebuild one, so I'm not really sure, because I mean the game's been restarted a, a couple of times since then. So I'm not quite sure what's going on in terms of the respawns. There was, um, yeah, there was quite a lot. I mean, this Alan over there, he was pulling about 1,100, 1,300 metal uh, per run. Now I'm struggling to get about three or 400 at a time. Uh, and the lack of cement isn't helping either. But the priority is, now that I've got this crafting area done, and now that I've got that little uh, cooking area going as well, I really want to deal with these uh, dinos that are spawning inside of the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to breed up some Argies in the next video. Uh, I've got a 168 that I tamed, and I've got Abby. I can't, I can't remember what level she was, but she wasn't particularly high. I'm going to breed those two together until I get a, a female that's got the equivalent stats that the male's got. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll use those as a breeding pair and I want to be able to produce at least one RG that I can then get 100% imprinting on. The idea is then I'll use that as my main main dino for getting around, or at least I'll use that for, um, that'll be the main RG. And the reason I want to get an RG first is that, I mean, although I want to get some dire wolves for this place to guard it all, what I want to get is, uh, I want to get an RG first because they're, they make a life an awful lot easier. What I can do is I can go over to the snow biome, take the lid off that uh, trap that I've built over there, and then I can just literally just, you know, have a look around for high level dire wolves, pick them up with the RG, drop them into the trap, trank them, and I'm uh, I'm done. Then I'll just I'll just need a a decent pair, a male and a female, uh, that I can breed up, and then I can start producing um, some pretty good uh, di uh, dire wolves. I'm not too bothered if they, they end up coming out imprinted because I want to scatter quite a few of them around here. Uh, put them in little various locations. I want to I want to have the gatches and the snowy owls on a on on a, like a hitching post so that they don't move. And I want to put some put a dino leash near them so that um, I can have the dire wolves contained within a little area so that they can keep an eye on the place. And I'll put them in like an aggressive mode and they'll just kill anything that comes anywhere near. So that way, I, I, sh I shouldn't have this problem where something comes into the base, attacks like the gatches and the snowy owls, and it messes things up because they all start trying to kill whatever it is and the scatter. I, it's, I, it's getting a bit of a pain to, to, to keep putting them back into position. Uh, whereas up here, I want uh, I want about three of them. I, I tend to put them in like a pack of three. I'll, I'll have either two males and a female, or two females and a male, depending on what I get. Ideally, I want them imprinted, but it's not. It's not a big, big demand. Um, so yeah, that's 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 what I'm going to be focusing on in the next video. It's to get the RGs and then to get the uh, the direwolves. Um, but that's 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 pretty much it, really. Then for this video, I mean, uh, made quite a bit of progress there. I think. I mean, this this base is pretty much done. I just want to build a down next to the tree. I want to build myself like a little hut. 
as I say I want to be able to travel to each location I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the bed to do that I'll just fast travel between each location keep myself some like items at each base so that I can just you know move to a location pick up my weapons um, tools armor and so on do whatever as I need to do in that area and then I can come back uh, come back to somewhere else so I can just move around the map a lot quicker um, in terms of resources I'll probably end up using the keep using the city terminals to move them around although once I get a decent enough RG I might be able to start pulling more things um, you know using the RG just carry them on the RG but uh, that's that's it for this video anyway I uh, do hope you've liked it um, if so then do please uh, leave a like uh, that'll be uh, great help for me. And um, if you're new to the channel, then do please subscribe and remember to tick that little uh, bell icon when you see it, because uh, that'll give you notifications when uh, whenever new content comes out. And if you've got any comments or suggestions, then uh, yeah, do please post those as well. They'll be greatly appreciated. So thanks very much for watching, and until the next video, bye.